Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. So in the last tutorial, we have learned about the nested structure in C++. A nested structure is nothing but a structure inside another structure. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use the nested structures and the pointers together. And if you guys haven't watched my previous tutorial on the nested structures, I recommend that you know you guys should watch that and then come to this tutorial. All right. For the demonstration purpose, here we have a structure called address, you know, which is containing the house number and the street name as members, and we have another structure student, which contains the name, roll number, and a nested structure called address, addr student is containing a variable of this structure address so here in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to use the pointers with this nested structures okay all of you know that we can use the pointers with the structure variables and we can access the elements of the structure variables using the arrow operator when we use the pointers all right guys now we're gonna see how to access the nested structure using a pointer so in our program we're gonna declare a variable so it's gonna be student and let me call it as anil and then we're gonna create a pointer it's gonna be student star anil ptr okay in this example our anil ptr will point to this structure variable anil so to do that we need to write anil ptr equal to and anil and next we're gonna access the elements and then uh, as in the values so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this anil ptr pointer so it's gonna be anil ptr and then when we use the pointer we need to use the arrow operator and then the member name so we have name so it's gonna be name equal to i'm gonna call it anil and then again anil ptr arrow operator the next member roll number equal to let's say one two four five or any number and then we need to access this member addr i'm gonna write anil ptr and then arrow operator addr so now this addr is also a variable of structure so to access the elements of this structure variable you know and also make a note that this is not a pointer it's a variable we need to use the dot operator it's going to be anil ptr and then this arrow operator we can access this addr and to access the elements of this addr or the members of this structure variable addr we need to use the dot operator and then the house number the member name and let's say 68 and similarly anil ptr arrow operator addr dot street name equal to let's say brigade road all right so now we have accessed the nested structure variable using a pointer and the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna print out the values so i'm gonna use c out and it's gonna be anil ptr arrow operator name and line and i'm gonna copy this statement and paste it so it's gonna be anil ptr roll number and it's gonna be anil ptr arrow operator addr dot house number and one more time i'm gonna paste it and i'm gonna change this one to addr dot street name all right now i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this so now you guys can see we have access the elements using the pointer all right the next thing is what if we have a pointer to this structure address here you know, while defining this structure student what if we have a pointer to another structure variable and also we are accessing the elements of this structure variable student using this pointer so here i'm going to remove these two statements and we directly can't assign to this pointer addr 
but what we can do in our program is we can create a variable of that nested structure type and let's say ADR and in this case this ADR is going to be of type address and I'm going to initialize that one right here so it's going to be the house number 65 and then the street name let's a madamaki all right now what we can do is we can uh, refer to this pointer by using this anil ptr so it's going to be e a n i l ptr then the arrow operator and then addr and we can assign the address of this adr to it so it's going to be ampersand adr so now we can access the members stored in this addr using the arrow operator because this addr is a pointer so here we need to change this one to pointers arrow operator and here also so i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this so now you guys can see anil one two four five sixty five and madamaki all right so the next thing is what if we want to access the values of this variable anil using this variable only not this pointer and also we have a pointer inside that structure student all right to do that i'm gonna remove this line anil ptr equal to ampersand anil and here also we need to change this one to dot operator anil dot name anil dot roll number and then anil dot address and uh, here is going to be anil dot name anil dot roll number while accessing and then anil dot addr and then we're going to use the arrow operator because this addr is a pointer here that's why we need to use the arrow operator so it's going to be another dot and i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this and also okay we need to change this one to anil and here also we need to remove the ptr because you know we are accessing using this variable anil so i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run so now you guys can see anil 124565 madamaki so this is it guys this is about the pointers and nested structures in c i know it is confusing but you know I just wanted to teach you so if you don't understand please watch it again thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial